What's up everybody, Derek here, and today we are going to be going over a 10-foot John boat and a 10-foot plastic, I guess you could call that a John boat, I always knew it as a scamp, or I don't know, it's a two-man boat, but anyways, they're different price ranges, both of these boats, so we're going to go over the pros and cons, what's cool about fishing out of these, and why these two depending on po upon what level of fishing you're at are both beginner basically bass boats john boats beginner fishing boats so to start off the john boat this is a 10 foot alumacraft that's been painted and this is a 10 foot pelican bass raider this can be bought at academy you i believe you can buy these 10 footers not alumacraft but you can Maybe you can buy them a Lumer Craft, but at an Academy. So that's the two difference out of these, but the two price difference, I remember that this plastic boats, if you can find it on sale, I don't know about right now, but at the time I was looking at them, I know prices have gone up and everything. So somewhere around 600 to maybe 900 out the door with taxes and everything for this boat. And they will get it registered for you. And this one is about 1,000 to 1,500, depending upon where you buy it. And that's for new prices. So not bad starting. Go buy a trolling motor for 200, a battery for another 100, and you're gone fishing for the day. Now, both of these boats, I actually fish with a mud motor. So I put it on the back, it's a six, Oh, it's a Predator engine. It's the six and a half horse, I believe, but I've juiced it up to about nine horsepower. And I put it on both of these boats. Now this one, it has a hull, if you can see right there, that it's open. So for running, it's not bad, but it's kind of like working a barge. This thing is basically a big barge. So if you look at it here, the way that it's built, it's got where you can put a trolling motor up on the front and put an outboard in the back if you'd like. But it's got really high sides. And it doesn't matter what it rains in here because this thing will never sink. I think this is actually an unsinkable boat in my opinion because these don't come with it but I drilled it out and I put a, a drain in right here so if you get too much weight in the back, water will start coming up out of here. But I put my mode mo mud motor on the back and you can see that I worked this boat quite a bit and this boat will actually do with that, I call it a nine horsepower mud motor now, it will do it about 12 to 13 miles an hour somewhere in that range. And you know, that's getting it. I can put my poles on the sides. It's got the two seats in here, although I mainly stand up and fish out of this thing, and it is very, very stable to fish out of. But for the price point of what this thing is, I even put this little plate on the side for mounting my live scope when I used to with the little ball. But I, I mainly fish this thing. You can fish it in creeks, you can fish it in the river. You can even take it to the lake. I've taken it to some monster lakes. You can do backwater, salt, saltwater fishing i don't see any place that you couldn't take this thing and it will fly upstream in some serious current but the only thing is it gets just a little bit tippy i remember the first time that i uh that i was going up river it felt like i was on a bar of soap but once i got used to that feeling and i'd get this thing up on plane it scoops and i've had this thing loaded with four of us going upstream but since it's unsinkable basically for the most part there has been some scary situations where I'll be going along and I'll let off and because if someone's further up front the front will actually dive down and I've had water come over the front of this thing and flood the whole thing but it goes out the drain eventually so it's just a little freaky when it happens so that's a great reason for why I love this boat it's one of my favorites now on to the John boat this thing, if you were to get it tipped over, it probably would go down. It is not, it, it is sinkable. Whereas the other one is not really sinkable. I don't, I don't believe at all. I believe I could flip it over and flip it back over and be just fine. But I can actually stand on the sides of that one. I would not stand on the sides of this one. Although the cool thing about this one is it does 15 miles an hour 
and because it has more surface area whereas that one has the pontoons under it which kind of catch water like a barge this one just basically sits up on top and gets it this boat flies now I've done some modifications that I need to finish it's basically a bass boat for the most part and as you see they are both 10 foot long I think this one is the same width almost as this one but it's got more area inside to stand whereas you just got this small little room in here to basically stand right there with your two legs this one has more room but it's a little more tippy that's the only you know downside to it but if it rains or anything like that you better have a bilge pump because it will fill up with water but it's got the perfect location for you know mounting everything i'm not worried about this transom it flexes a little bit but the way that this is designed with the plastic and the way that it's angled it's very very stout now this is more of a lake boat river boat this one is just an everywhere boat this is like if you could take off kayak fishing and bring someone along with you that's basically that boat so there's deeper holes and pools and rivers and creeks and then it goes super shallow where it's like ankle deep water you want to take that boat because i've been in flat bottom boats like this going down river hit a shallow shelf and i had a buddy on the front that did a backflip he was facing me did a backflip he was sitting in the front of the boat out of the water and landed on his back so yeah the john boat when it goes through shallow water will hit and it'll stop like you just slammed on the brakes but these things are awesome so you can get up high you get a lot of good fishing in so hopefully this thing becomes my little bass fishing conversion for the most part and i've got a, a deck up here that i converted out of the seat itself so i'm going to mount uh, a removable trolling motor mount so i can pop a trolling motor on there take it off and but this one is a little bit more expensive than that boat all right when it comes down to it with these two boats and what i would rather prefer if i were to choose one man it's going to be hard but i would definitely it's not going to last as long as an aluminum boat this plastic boat will literally go anywhere it's unseekable it's hard to tip i've had three kids and two two adults in this thing and went fishing and gone up and downstream whereas this thing is a little bit more tippy it sits lower in the water but whenever it comes to some of the things like getting up on plane if you've got an outboard or the mud motor like i've got this one will get it this one will get you to where you're going but you don't want to haul as much stuff i know this one weighs oh goodness i think it's 130 pounds and this one weighs nearly the same so they're about the same weight but this one's a lot tougher to lug around and this one has the handles front and back i don't know i don't know what you guys would think plus it's the cheaper version so you got so many pros and cons with these two boats but really both of them have their uses for great things so i could take that to the lake and go fishing by myself I could take that to the lake and go fishing myself and creeks and rivers for both of them so really you got to kind of find out for yourself but if i was to choose it'd be this one right here but anyways guys thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next one